Okay, so I'm here at Ashley House Printing Company. Today is the day where Through Notes gets printed after so many iterations, different materials, different ways of binding, different page counts, different colors, different processes. Today is the day. So I'm here in Exeter at Ashley House Printing Company and they have very kindly allowed me to come and film the printing process. Ashley House is well known for being one of the most eco-friendly printing companies here in the UK. So uh, it took me a while to find them. And as soon as I saw their website and all of their eco statements, it was an absolute no brainer. So here I am, I've got some time to kill. In the meantime, I'm gonna put my mask on, sanitize my hands, cause this is being filmed during COVID-19. Uh, I will be maintaining social distancing and wearing PPE. So let's do that now. Okay, stylish mask going on. Hand sanitizer, got this on the PCT. Gotta keep everyone safe. That's done, let's go. Okay, so here I am in the printing room. We've got Jamie here. This is the HP Indigo Digital Press. It's one of the most eco-friendly printers on the market for digital printing. Uh, he's just plopped some of the sheets in of the UPO Blue and we're gonna set up the entire machine, get it ready. And then we're gonna have all of the pages of through notes coming out through the end for this run of 300. This is HP Indigo 5500, as you can see. You know, it's a very quick press, very economically friendly, you know, no make readies, no wastage of paper, etc. We've had this machine for 11 years now, which has been one of the, you know, best purchases we've had, quick turnaround times. And you get a good, you know, good, clean, vibrant print of it. Yeah. Some of these other water-based inks yeah. aren't as eco-friendly. Yeah. Um, and also we've got qualified digital papers which are FSC certified and recycled yeah. where other papers don't necessarily use yeah. you know digital friendly papers yeah. they just can use anything where this is very specific yeah. of, of what's what's required. So right here this is uh, UPO Blue which is a synthetic stuff it's ecologically made and it's specific for this digital press so it's been approved to go into an HP digital press as well so trying to find a printer with the right printing gear, you can get hold of this paper <laughs> was an absolute task. But when I found Ashley House, I was like, they're the ones I want, that's it. So what are you doing now, Jamie? <coughs> so I'm putting a new blanket on, so we have to um, scan the barcode, so that uh, they send us another one. And how long does it take for you to learn all of the ins and outs of this particular printer? A long time. A long time. Yeah. I'm yeah. building on there, yeah. So if I was to just buy one myself, uh, I wouldn't have a clue, no? No, I had to do a, for the week's training in Barcelona, and then and then it's just learning all the time. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. It's just you never stop learning. Okay, so this is the digital press. I'm gonna take you into the other room, and we'll have a look at the Lifeo press. Okay, so what you see behind me is a lithographic press. So through notes is being done on a digital press. So all of the images are laser etched into uh, the roller basically, and then they're printed on using the, the color process that's in there. This one, each of these columns has, an, has a color in. So instead of all the inks being in those cans and in the canisters at the bottom, each separate color is put into one of these uh, presses here and then all of the uh, colors are then printed on using aluminium plates, so it's like a kind of stencil. And the plates are put in for each color, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, which is also called key. Um, so CMYK runs through this whole machine and then the aluminium plates with the design on print the sheets 
all the way through this printer. And as you can see, it is massive. This thing is as long as a bus. And uh, they're kept really clean, they're kept really sturdy, really important. We've got another one here, it's slightly smaller. But uh, as you can see, it's a real industrial piece of kit. Now, I would get three notes printed on this machine, but the run is going to be too small. If I scale it up and I need to print something like 10,000, 20,000, it will go on this machine. So it's a different process, but it makes the runs a lot quicker. It makes a larger run a lot cheaper. And yeah, it's just a massive, massive job to be put on this machine. I was supposed to look out for me and you. What number of a run would you say, all right, we won't do it on this, we'll do it on the LIFO? Roughly about 250 sheets of a one job. So yeah. if it was just an A5 leaflet, roughly 250 sheets, and then that would be a thousand. Yeah. Then it would look at LIFO prices. But in the same vein, if you were printing a brochure, and say you wanted a hundred brochures of a 24 page yeah. A4, yeah. you're only using 400 odd sheets here, yeah. which is half an hour printing, you would use four make readies there, yeah. eight make readies, yeah. you know, with hundreds and hundreds of sheets of paper, maybe five, six times the cost on there. It's depending on the job to the amount of sheets. So it prints and it collates at the same time. Amazing. So basically it's then ready to go on the binder yeah. where if it was on the LIFO, it would be folded sections yeah. and then collating. So you've got extra processes. Wow. So it's sheets. Yes, it is, you know, money does come into sheets, but it's the type of job, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you wouldn't do 10,000 A5s on here because yeah. it'd be somewhat economical on there. But <laughs> yeah. You know, we do, honestly, the, the jobs we've done, we've done one-offs here, you know, yeah. somebody wants one brochure. I've done a few you know? one-offs here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but it's, it's great because it, it becomes personal as well. So that's sort of, you know, why it's a good machine. At top speed, it can go up to a thousand an hour. A thousand sheets an hour, yeah. You know, okay. but it's got a lot of changes, not make ready as such, but a lot of technical changes that happen from one job to the next. Sure. So it has to sort of read the, the thickness of stock and yeah. things like that. So the amount of care and attention that goes into it, this machine has to be calibrated every time for every single job. For the paper stock, the type of toner, the colours, the size of the job, the trimming, everything like that. Every time, completely reset for each and every job. Okay, so here we've got a colour calibration job coming out. So as I said, the printer needs to be calibrated for every job. Right now, coming out on the same stock, it's calibrating all the colours. So we just run a little test, and then you can see the sheets are coming out. And then we're giving them a quick check and re recalibrating and readjusting, and then it will go out for the final run. I was supposed to look out. Okay, so um, the first run of the cover and inside cover is done. So that's all coming out now. And it's just gonna be coming out the end and then we're nearly done. So it's not gonna be bound and trimmed today. That's gonna happen later in the week because it's a completely separate job. And because it's a bit fiddly, I can't be here to, uh, to film that. So these guys have kindly said that they'll do a little bit of filming for me when that's done. And, then it'll all get posted to me in a huge box. <laughs> well, so that's the end of the job. Jamie's stacked it all up now and it's ready to be bound, folded, trimmed. And uh, yeah, that's it. I think in a couple of weeks, it'll all go on sale.